Hello and welcome to another in the series of the Yogg's Cast How to World of Warcraft video game guides to how to how to boss fight. Are we going to talk anything about the fight at all? No, no, of course we're not. Okay, so how would you greet a little green man if a, a little little flying saucer landed in your backyard you poke your head out the window and you go crikey you run down the stairs you open the back door and there stood in front of you is a little green fella the classic British response with his um... cock in his hand <laughs> the cla- <laughs> what? <laughs> the classic British response is would you like a cup of tea? To... yeah would you like a cup of tea? it's how we're kind of like trained at a young age in how to deal with um, aliens invading England. Would you like? You know, a cup if there is going to be like a zombie apocalypse or like an alien invasion or you know war of the worlds kind of. You know, these are the times when <laughs> if zom you should like. If you came across a zombie, would you go? Would you like a cup of brains? <laughs> <laughs> you could probably just use spaghetti, like tin spaghetti, instead, and put some baked beans in it, maybe. I think. A cup of half-baked beans, half Would spaghetti. zombies I, know the difference? They're not clever, are they? But I think they would probably be able to tell. Yeah. Because it's not that convincing, is it? Baked beans and spaghetti. But you'd warm brains. it up a little bit. It's uh, quite tasty. <laughs> it was. They're not looking for something that's tasty. They're looking for brains. But the, but the thing is, though... If you were in a zombie apocalypse, the tea would run out pretty quick, you know. And what you'd have to do is you'd have to, like, break into your supply that you've stocked up under the stairs, which is, like, stacks and stacks of, um, like, tinned corned beef and tinned and cheese. And tips. Tinned cheese? Yeah. Like, the, well, this would be, like, years after oh, zombie apocalypse. You would have had to, like, tinned scavenge cheese. things from the local supermarket, wouldn't you? Wouldn't Anything you, like, grow stuff tin? yourself, though? And go out would hunting. You, would you know the first the thing pheasants. about growing stuff? Is like, what would you hunt? Pheasants. Well, either you can go the out into the out. wild. You can kill pheasants and grow crops for yourself. What do you mean grow or, crops? This is how like a little mean, allotment. How do you grow crops. Just have a little allotment. Have you seen The Good Life, starring Richard Briers and uh, Felicity What's Kendall? That? Do you know what I would do? If I've learned anything from Torchwood. I'll just start making out with the alien. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what that's pretty much what Torchwood is, it's just it's sex with the aliens. Two. That's yeah. the thing I have a problem with. This whole concept that aliens go. will be um the same size as us. You know, around five eight to six two, weighing like, you know, two hundred pounds. It's it's unlikely. And but it's something we have had humanoid fed to features. Us. Through. They'd basically look like a guy, but with a Cornish pasty taped to his forehead. <laughs> yeah, or like um, some weird tattoo somewhere on their body, but otherwise perfectly human. Are you thinking of Probably... the Trill? Well, or Chakotay, or anyone from Star Wars, Star Trek. Chakotay's you know, not an just... alien, he's a Native American with tribal tattoos. Oh, is he? I thought he's not he was an like alien. Some sort of... I thought it was like a race of tri- no. alien tribal people. It's just really? a dude. Yeah. I thought he was like an alien. Oh well. Are you kidding me? That. All this time of watching Voyager, all those years. I thought he was spent. an alien. Yeah, man. <laughs> I've had my what Voyager world turned upside down now. What would you do if an alien? What would you expect it to be? I think it would be a tall red-headed woman with enormous breasts and green skin wearing like some spandex outfit and holding a ray gun that looks like something out of a 1950s sci-fi movie out of the Jetsons basically it's got like rings around it <laughs> yeah yeah one of those yeah and she would say my planet has all, all of our men on our planet have died to some disease right, and we are going. looking for we're looking for healthy men Obviously we're in the wrong the wrong, place. <laughs> we're in the wrong back garden sorry <laughs> I'm in the land next door 
and I would say, well, take me aboard your ship, and I'll I'll see what I can do to help you um, to have lots of babies. That's quite weird, isn't it? Actually, impregnating like thousands of women, so they all have your babies and they all look like you. I mean, that would be horrible. Oh Jesus, I don't, I don't like this anymore. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying the, the Steel Breaker video that you're watching. Yes! Yes! yes. 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 Avoid Bat. Three tanks. <laughs> bringing in the dwarf. So it was just a matter of bringing in more dwarfs. Who could have predicted that? Oh, get away from Gear! Get away from Gear! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, come here, my lovelies. <laughs> no, oh, God, no, no, no. no. <laughs> this always happens. <laughs> yeah, kill yeah. blue. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she no, yes. 